Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. My name is Emily if you're new here and I love to make videos about fashion, jewelry, lifestyle, and anything magical. And I literally have my little friend <laughs> Ella right here. I think she wanted to say hello. So she says hello. And in this video, it is a requested video because on Instagram, I showed you guys behind me <laughs> my new jewelry box that I picked up and all of you requested to see a video on it. You know, kind of how I started to use it, where I'm putting my jewelry, how I'm organizing it. But she also wanted to have a look at my Pandora collection. So this will be more of an overview of my Pandora collection as well as other bead brands. Before we get into that though, I thought it would be fun because on Instagram, you guys know I do the 24 days of tea countdown, I already opened the ribbon. And I thought, you know what? I always do it on Instagram. Um, I do it daily on Instagram. I'm also doing 25 days of sparkle on Instagram. So if you wanna follow me on there and kind of see what the tea of the day and what the 25 day of sparkle, what the sparkle of the day is gonna be, head over to my Instagram, it's at Fashion Storyteller. But anyway, today, the day that I'm filming this, it is December 9th. So let's open this up and let us see. This is number nine, is right here. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm so curious to see what the tea of the day is gonna be. I was talking to my friend Nicole and she was like very excited about it. So <gasps> I'm excited too. It's called Palm Grateful and this is a tart and luscious super fruit tea. It's a white tea with apple, pineapple, hibiscus blossoms, white tea, pomegranate seeds of course. We have rose petals and some stevia extract. I'm excited to make this. I'm actually gonna make this for this video. And if you didn't know, I'm actually a David's Tea affiliate. So if you would like to like kind of look on the David's Tea website or if there's anything you want to stock up on, feel free to use my links down below. But anyway, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm gonna make this and then without further ado, we'll dive into my world of my Pandora jewelry box. All right, so the tea of the day is steeping and I just want to start off with talking about like over here you'll see my Pandora jewelry box and this is my actual Pandora box. I do have a video about that. I'll link it somewhere on the screen and I outgrew this and then I started to use like I think behind me like above me you'll see I kind of was like in between three Pandora jewelry boxes and then I used another jewelry box I had that I had gotten at Costco years ago and it's very similar to stackers. It's like this little brown um kind of jewelry box and they kind of stack on top of each other. But A, I never really loved the color and B, I just, I didn't like having the separate things that just come apart. Like I like everything kind of be just contained and if I had to lift it, it could just all, I don't know, it all be together. Do you guys know what I'm saying? So basically I was browsing around in HomeSense Winners a couple weeks ago when I stumbled upon this jewelry box. It is pink and beautiful and gigantic. Like it's huge as you guys can see. It has this gorgeous top. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep on it. And if it's meant to be and if it's there the next day, I'm gonna get it. And also my dear friends, Angie, Rita, and Nicole, they all convinced me I should go back and get it. So I went back, I picked it up and I'm so glad I did. So now basically I'm just gonna give you kind of an overview of the jewelry box and different features of it as well as showing you my Pandora collection. Okay, so this is my jewelry box. And it has three different drawers here on the bottom. And then at the top here, basically, it lifts up and you have two sections in here and they're separated for different bracelets, which I really love here. And then this part has a nice little focal point. So depending on what jewelry I'm wearing for that day, I keep it on the top here. And this opens up really nicely. And again, you have more storage here. And then I kept this in here just so I could kind of remind myself of the brand. So it's called Tuscan Designs. And like I mentioned earlier, I got this from HomeSense and winners for $149. But I did find one that was very similar on Wayfair. So I'll make sure to link that below for you guys in case this is something you like. It is quite a lot more expensive though than what I think it looks like. So then each section pulls out. So in this one you have some long drawers and this is great I mean for you could put necklaces here, you could put bracelets um, which I have a couple here. The next drawer I have here now this is um it's quilted on the bottom. Again you can kind of see some of those details. I also keep a lot of these guys in here to help absorb moisture so it helps prevent tarnishing. One thing that I did add was this ring tray 
And um, I ordered this off Amazon. I'll link it down below as well in case you guys want to find one similar. Because the only thing with this design was that it doesn't have any place really to put rings or earrings. I do wish this would fit. I was hoping it would fit in here or somewhere else, but it works fine here and it's a great way to display my rings and earrings and, and that type of stuff. And then as we move along, I have the bottom drawer. And here it's divided into three different sections. And I just, again, I just have a bunch of different stuff here at the bottom. But I think one thing that I really love the most is that each one opens separately here and it has just so much storage. And it is quite big. Um, actually, let me just grab a measuring tape and I can show you exactly what the size is. So this is about, it's 18 inches long by, let me just see here, roughly about 10 and a quarter, mm, 10 and three eighths wide. And then height wise, I'm just gonna measure it from up here cause it's kind of dense in. It is about 11 and a quarter high. So as you can see, like it is quite big. And I just love that everything is in a drawer and you can't actually pull these drawers, see, all the way out. And that's one thing that I love. So just in case, I don't know, something happens, they just, they all stay in place. It has beautiful stitch work, little silver handles on here. I love how it dips up at the bottom. I think that's super sweet. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna show you a little more closer look at my collection of Pandora and what I have in here. All right, so on the first top layer here that what I mentioned earlier was that I kind of have pieces I'm currently wearing. So for this week, I have been wearing a lot more kind of wintry theme bracelets. So this is one of my Pandora sliding bracelets in silver. And I have a couple of different special charms, including Mother Mary here in the center and a special charm my husband gave me and a cross. So I really love this. I think this is beautiful. Then I also have this gorgeous bracelet that I received from Golden Memories. I did a fun collab on Instagram with them. And I just, I love this. This one is so beautiful. So this is the star class, Pave Star. Um, well, it's the slider actually bracelet and I just love it. I think it is so so beautiful I also have my medium-sized Pandora O pendant and then I have three beads from own beads on here So I have snow angel. He's new for this month I have the bead miss Christmas tree and then I have Saint Nick because that's actually my Saint's name if you didn't know So and then I have this actually on a Pandora chain that came with my floating locket, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, moving along onto the bottom here, I have two Pandora pouches. So this first one, I have my two Pandora essence bracelets. So I have the essence bangle, and I have a mixture of the gold essence beads, so I have sensitivity and creativity on here, and a couple other meaningful ones. And then I also have my beaded essence bracelet, and it has some more kind of gray scale, silvery black essence beads and all of these beads actually are quite meaningful to me I love how essence has you know the different words on them for what they symbolize I think that's a beautiful beautiful collection in this bracelet this is probably one of my most special bracelets this was a gift from my husband on our wedding day so this is my something blue bracelet it's on a two-tone Pandora bracelet and it is a two-tone themed bracelet overall it has it's also kind of Cinderella inspired because we have the something blue Cinderella Cinderella Murano Cinderella's wishes here and the carriage love this it's probably one of my most favorite Disney charms I think this is just so beautiful and yeah I just love this one and then that's basically it for this section I also have a beautiful Pandora class opener that my friend Rita got me very recently as a gift for my birthday. Super sweet of her. She also got me these beautiful earrings, which you'll see later, but I just love that. And then I also have really hiding back here. I have one of these guys, cause these are great. I actually have these hidden throughout um, my, my jewelry boxes. They help um, collect moisture. So, okay, and then the next section, this I call my Disney section. It's all Disney charms, which is really cool, or Disney theme bracelets, I should say. Not every single charm on the bracelets are Disney, but they are Disney inspired. So this first bracelet that you're seeing is a work in progress bracelet. So it is Disney themed, and it's a kind of a two-tone with little accents of red on it 
kind of like the theme of this bracelet. And most of these are just kind of memories and things that I've done with my husband or with friends that kind of involve Disney. Oh my gosh, look how cute Dumbo is. So that's a really special bracelet on here. And then continuing along, we also have this bracelet. And you guys probably all know this bracelet. This is my When You Wish Upon a Star Disneyland theme bracelet. And oh my goodness, so many wonderful memories are on this bracelet. I really love this. I actually have two charms coming in the mail actually to replace these ones, but right now this is where it's at and oh, I just love this. I think it's so magical. And then up here I have all bangles. So all Disney bangles. I have a lot, you guys. <laughs> very, very blessed actually to have such a, a special, amazing collection. So this is my Beauty and the Beast themed Pandora bracelet. So I have a different mixtures of pretty Beauty and the Beast charms. This is for the West Wing <laughs> with the little wing. I love that. So from here, this one I have in plastic bay because it's Pandora Shine. You shouldn't put Pandora Rose or Pandora Shine in the anti-tarnished bags. It actually isn't good for the shine or the rose treatment. And this is my jasmine themed bangle. So this says um, on it, never lose your sense of wonder, which is really cool. So they brought it out for the Aladdin movie. Then I have my little jasmine um, dress charm here and then the two jasmine Muranos and then the magic lamp and Agrabah, <laughs> the castle of Agrabah, and it's so cool. I love the class. Whenever Pandora does beautiful class details, it's just, oh my goodness, it's so stunning. And and I love these, and so far my shine pieces, um, they've been holding up really, really well. That being said though, I don't wear them all the time though, because with plated jewelry, no matter how well they've been plated, you still want to kind of baby them a little bit. We have my snow white bangle, and I have the two snow white Muranos, and these are just so gorgeous. I think these are so pretty. I have Snow White, like the first kiss charm, which I love, little drawers. And this is another Aladdin themed bracelet. It is on the Fireworks Classic Bangle. I'm pretty sure this came out last year. So I have um, that beautiful magic carpet ride charm on here and a couple other ones that kind of make me think of the movie. And, and then the last Disney themed bangle we have here is my fantasy land bracelet. And I just love how colorful this is. There's a lot of special charms on here that are from loved ones and special friends. This is on the park exclusive bangle. And oh my goodness, so many special people are, um, are represented on this bracelet. And yeah, it just makes me smile and it's so colorful. And so down here, I have all my Pandora necklaces. So I have them in plastic bags right now. So I have my Heart of Winter necklace here. I have my Light as a Feather pendant. Sorry, I know it's a little harder to see in plastic. I have my Walt and Mickey dangle charm in here. I tend to wear this as a necklace just to keep it safe. I have one shine charm. It's kind of random up here, but I just keep it up here because it's close to the other shine pieces I have in my collection. I have my beloved, my, this one is just so special, the dragonfly pendant, that's in here. I have my floating locket, it has some Christmas themed petites in there. And then in this bag, I have all my other Pandora petites. And again, I keep them in here just to prevent like tarnishing and things like that. And then I have my Patterns of Frost pendant. It's a small little guy, but it's super beautiful. I also have, this isn't Pandora, but I love it. It's a quartz rose gold necklace. So I love wearing that. And then up at the top, I have more bangles. So again, in plastic, I have this beautiful Pandora rose bangle. I find the rose bangle actually be quite expensive. I got it during a promo. And then I have this little fun kind of purpley design going on it. This is special. This was a gift from my dear friend, Nicole. I love that. This is a very special bracelet to me. So this is uh, the one in a million bangle. It came out for Mother's Day um, this past year. And I have a, I've poured a lot of special beads on here. Um, one being, this is a Gnoshi Genos charm. And it's of my little Harlow. Um, my friend, a charm dreamer, Rita got this for me. And honestly, it, it's just so special and it's really beautiful. And then the other one we have over here, this is a very, very special bracelet to me. So this is my guinea pig theme bracelet. 
and each of the guinea pigs are from Ohm Beads and each of them are engraved with my guinea pigs names and um, so it's primarily it's on a Pandora kind of classic moments bracelet bangle but um, the little Ohm Beads are on there and these are actually my first Ohm Beads I ever got and then I have the special wood uh, beads from Pandora so yeah so that's this one and I'll be wearing this tomorrow because it's Harlow's adoption birthday tomorrow. So very special. Okay, so moving along. Right now, some of these charms. This is my Enchanted Forest bracelet, but I borrowed some of these for a bracelet design. So some of the charms are on here, and then some of them are actually on my own play tray. But this is on a Pandora Rose class bracelet. And I have a new bracelet I recently got for my birthday, which has the little Lee's class and it's so beautiful. This is from the Autumn Collection. Then I have my Pandora Shine bracelet with the little clasp. It's quite pretty too. And there was a design on here. Again, I borrowed charms from it. This isn't Pandora, but it is a very special bracelet my then boyfriend gave to me, now husband. So I love that. I have my threaded bracelet from Pandora in the lavender color. It's very pretty. Then I have my last, or actually second last, Pandora sliding bracelet in the leather and then it has a cute little touch of sparkle on the bottom And then I have this beautiful sparkling bracelet Sliding bracelet that my friend John or my expressions got me and I just love it It really catches the light and this is a leather Pandora bracelet So the Pandora leathers where we have this is kind of a cute fun little Disney design a black and white theme Then I have this is my husband's bracelet and it has a little cross right here and then I have a pink one, a champagne one, and this one is from Gino's Genocci as well in a beautiful teal. And this was a gift from a term dreamer, Rita, with the Harlow charm. Moving on, this is where it's going to get, oh my goodness, so many things. So I'm very lucky. Um, I'm going to show you the rings. So I have my Pandora Meadow ring. We have some rose rings here. I have a Kate Sparkle ring, Pandora Shine ring. Again, we have a couple different Pandora rings here on the bottom. The one here was a gift from my husband. And then I have a little Disney ring, some other statement ring, Nature Serenity, which I love. Then some Pandora earrings. They're all here on the bottom. These two are from A Term Dreamer. Again, some more earrings, light as a feather. These are actually my and so rings that I wear when I'm working out. They're really awesome and they have some nice engravings on there. This is kind of a dark fairy tale theme. It's a work in progress bracelet, so I don't have all the pieces to it yet, but it is coming along. It's on an oxidized Pandora bracelet. Then I have my husband's Mandora, so his Pandora bracelet. He has some beautiful wooden Pandora beads on here, and then the two clips, and then the Then I have my Halloween themed Pandora bracelet, also on the oxidized bracelet. You would have seen this recently. Um, I have taken some charms off of here, um, just to like play around with some different designs, but Primarily, it has most of the Halloween charms on here right now. I have my Pandora Rose bracelet, so I love this so much. Um, this is my little tea party bracelet, and I borrowed a bead off of here, so it, it's missing a bead, but the bead is, it's supposed to be there, it's just, it's on a different design right now. But I have this like beautiful kind of fun design with some different beads and it's a lovely tea party theme. I'm obsessed with tea if you did not know already. In so. this bag we have this, um, this is called my charm bead community bracelet. So Pandora community bracelet. It's all pieces that remind me of this wonderful community including the sisters dangle, the Pandora drink to go. I have bead mail from Ohm Beads on here. I have our world. I have this wonderful, beautiful scroll best friends charm. My friend um, Daily Charm Addict got for me, and yeah, and these oh these clips I just love. They look like little purses, and then this is like this is to represent my my little hubby, my snowman, my little robot guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Moving along, I have my wonderful inner strength bracelet. This is filled with wonderful reminders of things that kind of keep me strong, like my the Bible to my faith and memories of kind of where, you know, it was difficult times that I was able to overcome and, 
yeah, I just, I love this bracelet so, so much. And I really love the colors of it. So it's really, really special to me. Then in this Pandora bag, I have my Fairy Garden bracelet, which actually I've made a, quite a few different changes to it, but I'm really loving how it is looking. It's primarily more pink right now, but I'm really sad because my little, one of my little fairies, she broke, she fell off her dangle. So I need to take it to the jewelry store to get repaired. I've actually never had that happen before with a Pandora charm. So it was really sad when that happened because she's retired and she's very hard to find. And inside are all special charms for my Ella theme Pandora bracelet. It's kind of, it, I did design it and then I kind of redesigned it. And now I still want to kind of play around with it because I feel like it's still not quite right yet. And then here, this is the bracelet where I borrowed quite a few charms from my Enchanted Forest bracelet to put them on here, as well as my Life is a Fairy Tale bracelet with you. Um, that one, I wore that like in my Pandora Me video, but I also kind of took it apart to use this, that bracelet for this design. This was for LSN, so Linda's design challenge for November. And I love this, this bead is from the Palace of Amber and it's just little pumpkin cottage. It's so cute. So this theme has definitely a very like kind of more autumn Thanksgiving vibe, but I love it. I have my little mushroom house from Corner 35, super cute. And yeah, I just love this. These are the new Pandora leaves, but I also have been kind of paired with the old long retired leaf charms. And uh, I just love it. I love the colors in this. So the reason why I haven't taken these charms off and put them back on like the um, Enchanted Forest bracelet and everything is because I actually really want to do a video on this bracelet. I love how it turned out. I also have like the Pandora Shy Moranos and two Pandora Gold Moranos on here. I just really want to share this design with you guys. And then on my wrist, um, I think I did mention this, but I have my Pandora Christmas bracelet, which I will be doing a video on. And I have my Pandora Open Bangle, which has more some Disney themed um, Christmas charms on here. So really love how that looks. Um, I also have a Pandora Celestial Stars ring on my finger, just so you can see a little bit more Pandora. And basically, um, that is it for Pandora besides what I have on my own play tray, which I'll show you in a minute. Now on the bottom here, I have some extra bags. I have even more than these, you guys, but that's just what I have in there right now. And um, we'll start off with my own bracelet. So I love own beads. I'm a huge, huge fan of own beads. I don't think you can see it there. There we go. So I have this gorgeous brown mocha colored leather. So they call this their whip bracelet and it's like their multi strand. And I have my Unicorn and Unicorny Moranos. I have Odette on here. My Wooden, the Heart of the Woods, which is probably my most favorite own beads item I own. But I love like all the ones on here I love. I have my little curly sheep. And oh my gosh, I just, I just love this. I love wearing this. This was the bracelet was actually, and Heart of the Woods were both gifts from Omis. I actually got to meet the designers, the creative masterminds behind Omis. And it was just so amazing because I got to share that experience with my Pandora Charm life. And you guys, it was just so, so amazing. So I really, really love this whole bracelet and that, oh, yeah, it's just so many wonderful memories. Then over here, I have my lucky red whip bracelet and I love this so much. This was on my wish list and then Ombits was so sweet and they sent it to me and I actually made like did a little video on it with how I styled it in the autumn, the autumn season. So I'll link that somewhere here. But oh man, this color is perfect for Christmas time too. It's like, I actually love to put um, my own beads charms or beads <laughs> on here because they're so oh my gosh they look so so beautiful then i also have my little who clasp it's so funny so it says ohm on it but then if you look it also says who if you turn it upside down i love that it's so so funny i have <laughs> one of my favorite ever own beads designs it's on the ohm twisted silver bangle and it's kind of it's basically i call it t art and beads. <laughs> so I have some beautiful beads. Actually, quite a lot of these are from, so this one, this one, and this one are all from the December release. So for this month, and this one's called Ohm Nouveau, and I just love it. I'm a huge fan of Art Nouveau, period. So I love that. And then, of course, I have my tea bag, my pretty teacup, and my pretty teacup. This is called Milky because you need some milk with your tea, right? <laughs> so down here, I have some troll beads items. 
So I have my little fairy. He is so cute. He's this gorgeous. Oh my goodness. He's just, he's just the best. I just love him. So actually I do have a collection video of my troll beads, um, beads and items. I haven't added to it since that video. So I will link that down so you can get a closer look. I can also tell you the names of all the different pieces in my collection. Then in here, I have my my bangle from Troll Beads with a couple beautiful items. And then in this Troll Beads bag, I have my foxtail bracelet with a couple different designs. And then my beautiful little clasp. Then I have my Ogre Beads bracelet, which I am just obsessed with. I'm obsessed with Ogre Beads. I absolutely love them. I'll link a couple. I actually did a collection video of all my Ogre Beads, so I'll link that down below. And on this bracelet, I have some special pieces from their Winter 2019 collection, as well as some couple other ones in my collection. Down here, I have a very, very special Camila bead. This is the pig in like a rose gold color. And this just makes me think of my little Harlow, even though it's a piggy. I actually have a really special picture with Harlow and this pig charm. And, and then in here, speaking of Harlow, I have a very, very, very special pendant. This um, I would have featured actually in a, my, I think it's called Pandora and Ohm Beads guinea pig theme bracelet design. This has some of actually Harlow's little ashes in here. If you're a pet animal lover, you, you understand. If you're not, you're probably like, this girl is so crazy. <laughs> but um, this is really special. I got the letter H engraved on it. And then the last item in my jewelry box, I have my Alex and Ani. I do have a bracelet video about these two little bangles as well. So this is like the mad tea party and then the little treasure cat. And I love these. These are so much fun. And I got this for such a good deal on the Shop Disney website. Um, a charm dreamer told me and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it like right away. And then basically now I'm just gonna show you the items I have in my own play tray. All right, so this is the own play tray. And right now I have the anti-tarnish protective little case over it. So it just comes like this and you just unzip it. So I'll just kind of go over the features of this for you. I love to use this for designing and for storage. So one, it has this great place where you can kind of put beads down here that you want to design with. And these bars, they actually come out and they fit all different bead sizes. So not just own beads. I have ogre beads on here. I have my Pandora beads on here. So it fits a lovely mixture of different beads. I really love being able to have these bars to design with because it's so fast and efficient. I also love that they have their own logo embossed on inside, like if you really take a close look, you can kind of see that the Ohm logo is there. And I just kind of want to show you. So up here I have some Ohm beads items that aren't currently on bracelets. So I have a bunch of their beautiful glass beads. These ones actually were designed by Martha Nick beads. They're so, so beautiful. I really, really love those. I have my inner self bead that I just love. And then I have a couple silver ones, Love Grows. I love, I sometimes wear this as a pendant. These two are from the new collection. And then I have my little needle and thread from them. Down here, I have all my ogre beads. I love ogre beads. I will link that whole video for you so you can kind of see an up close look at these. Right over here, I have a couple more ogre beads, silver beads. This is a special bead from my friend Angie. I love this. I still need to figure out where to put it and design with it, but I just love it. Then these are more of my seasonal Pandora charms. So I have birthday themed ones. I have ones more focused for Valentine's Day. I have the Easter bunny from Pandora, breast cancer ribbon. I get a cute little bunny I like to use for Easter time. St. Patrick's Day Murano. Down here we have another little shamrock. Then I have a couple more like, um, they're more like country beads. So I'm Canadian, Canadian, I'm from Canada. So I have my Canada beads here. I have, oh my gosh, this adorable Mickey. He makes me think of Main Street USA, but also all my dear friends in the States. Hi guys. And then I have my little, this one actually isn't a country one, but it's just my little ladybug bead charm that I got with my Pandora Charm Life and I just love him. And these are, oh my gosh, these are so special. These are my from my friend Alina. She's this wonderful, talented artist. 
and she sent me all three of these and she's just oh she's so sweet then down here this is my life is a fairy tale with you bracelet I currently have it off the bracelet because I'm using that current bracelet for a design then over here this is kind of a mini design that I like to do happily ever after um, park exclusive bead and then all of these ones are for my enchanted forest theme bracelet but they're currently off that because again I'm using it for like a different design so all right so that's basically, I'm just gonna put it back in the own play tray. And I absolutely love it. You do have to purchase the anti-tarnish bake separately from the tray. Um, so it's a little bit more pricier in that way. If you are gonna get anything from this video that I recommend, I honestly think this is it. Just because it's so awesome to design with. It's great for traveling if you wanna take some of your collection with you and play around with some different designs. It's not that big, it's quite thin. The price point, I will say, it is a little bit more on the pricier side, but honestly, it is worth it. You're gonna use, if you're a bead lover, like a charm lover, you're gonna use this every day, and you're just, it's, yeah, it's just awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing an overview of my Pandora collection, as well as seeing a little look at my troll beads, ohm beads, ogre beads, and I think it's the one Alex and Ani that I have in my collection, as well as how I'm currently storing them. As mentioned before, though, I just got this jewelry box fairly recently, so I'm still kind of figuring out how exactly I want to kind of organize it. So if you guys do have any ideas or suggestions or anything, please comment them down below. I'm always open to what you guys have to say because you always give me such great ideas and great feedback. So I'd also love to know how you organize your Pandora ohm beads etc etc jewelry it's always fun to see I know stackers is very very popular um, so I'd love to know if you guys have a stackers box and so on and so forth anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas holiday season that is going very magical for you and your loved ones and I wish you all the best I'll talk to you and see ya in the next video bye for now